with the intro, um, there's this weird, um, sounding electric guitar, and I'm pretty sure it's just riffing on one D chord, like this. Like, it's kind of bending it around, and it might be doing some hammer-on stuff. Hammer-on stuff, I'm not sure. Um, I think it slides down, but it's, it's, it's really hard to tell what's going on, but really... Just kind of playing it and bending it should do. Then for the entire first two verses and choruses, it is just this chord progression pattern of A, A F sharp minor, G. I guess it would be maybe third verse. There is a odd finger picking thing that it'll have to do on acoustic. So this happens that finger picking chord progression that pattern happened six times in this first part of the bridge i think which is kind of odd i was counting them while listening to the song and i guess that would make it three four even though the chord progression account itself and the count of how long you hold the chords for i'm pretty sure isn't four four but what that is is it's um g and these are the chord shapes d B flat, A minor, and the finger picking pattern, you saw me do it with a pick, but it's probably easier with fingers, it's hard to get it in frame. kind of riff on it there but it's basically you're hitting the do that root note twice and then the highest string second to highest string wait and the third to highest string and then back up to that second highest string so what you're seeing there is But I really do recommend riffing on that because it, it's hard to do consistently. And he does do some odd riffage on it in the song. And I do personally find it fun to just kind of do it with a pick. Um, but that's it for this first part of the bridge and then it goes into something else. So then the second part of this bridge goes like this. seem daunting that might seem like a dauntingly long chord progression but it's really not so what you've got going and going on um, going into this section is it's a C but it's led in by open A string second fret of A string uh, third fret of A string so going on 
on there. It's kind of like um, the intro of that My Chemical Romance album. Uh, it's kind of like that, what they've got going on. It's a G, and then it's, it's um, your finger's hitting that second fret, so it's kind of an F sharp minor. Hitting that second fret of the E, and then going down to e open, destroying that E minor, so. It's going just back to C. That's the entire chord progression. It's just C D G E minor, and then C D G. I don't think you're doing the every time it's restarting the progression. I don't think so. I didn't hear that, but I do know it's doing that every time. I'm pretty sure, and that's just happening um, three times. sure G is fingered like this this time, where it also has um, the third fret of the B fingered, which is odd because it hasn't for the rest of the song, but it doesn't really matter. Now I have the first bit of this instrument instrumental section that starts right after the bridge and it goes like this. Yeah, pretty pretty long hard to be consistent at because of this two two note thing you have going on in the high string so you saw me mess up you're supposed to be doing a full strum just one singular full strum on these chords before doing that you saw me mess that up and you also saw me get the timing wrong on some of it because it's hard to be consistent with and it is a pretty long and varied chord progression so it's not like the last one so as I've already explained it's just drums of the chord followed by alternating between the highest and the second highest so the E and the B and the chords he's using are G B minor G7 E minor 7 which I might have to show you how to finger because it's kind of an uncommon one. It's an E minor, but the three on the B string is also fingered. It's a pretty good chord. And then G again, D, B flat, and then A sus4, which is another one that's kind of odd. It's an A chord, but it's only these first two um, well, it's it's an A chord, but the last fingered note on the B string is slid up to a three, and that's only held for four beats, and then it goes to G, and that's also only held for four beats, or maybe two beats. I don't know, but on those on the normally on those chords, you're hitting you're doing that eight times, and then with those last two, it's only two times for each, or four times for each, I mean, and that's it for this first bit. This second part of the instrumental is pretty odd. So in this first bit of it, it's like the standard chord progression from the first verse or the first, like, 
two verses and choruses where it's like the D A F sharp minor G pattern, but it's like the second fret of the high E string is being held down at all times on every chord. So D is normal because it already has that, but then A becomes like this basically, holding down like half of the guitar on this second fret. Of course you can do it without barring, but then you're having like your whole hand on the fretboard, like all of your fingers. So I like that better. And then it goes to a normal F sharp minor. And then a like, uh, I don't remember what this is, but it's like G, G, not bar G, but G like this, but it has that second fret held down instead. He might, he might be, he might be doing that actually. I know he's not keeping these chords static in a lot of the finger picking things, like I mentioned earlier. And then, second bit of the instrumental, it's a similar deal, but um, it's to do with the basically the entire second half of the song, or well, the rest of the song pretty much, is this chord progression of B, A, G, D, and then D, A, G, A. So no F sharp minor. But in this little instrumental bit, before any of that happens, it's going to be D, that weird A again, weird G, D, and then D, weird A, weird G, weird A. So it's still the second fret deal, and then it gets into... Um, next verse and chorus. So, like I mentioned earlier, in the third verse and chorus, it's doing this alternation of B. G. Back to D. And then it alternates from that to D. difference between those two patterns is on the last chord it's either a D, a D or an A and it alternates between those two and that's that happens throughout the entire um, third verse and chorus. So now we have the second bridge and it's actually pretty similar to the first bridge except for some kind of minor things like it's on an electric guitar a clean electric guitar instead of an acoustic guitar and also the um, the finger picking thing is a bit different it has more intricacies this time a lot of hammer on There's no A minor this time, it's a suspended chord this time, so it's the same as an A minor except you're just lifting that, that finger. And then the rest of it is actually the exact same as the first bridge. It has that same chord progression. Um, it has that same instrumental bit. And then there is something different coming up after this. Now we have this bit at the end of that bridge, maybe at the end of... After that bridge, I guess, maybe. Where the guitar is kind of playing bass. And it changes key. And what it's doing is it's doing this chord progression, basically of G. D, B 
minor, C, and then G, D, C, D. But when this guitar, when it's playing bass, and this first bit of it, it's... sort of melody line is is it's just using just one string two strings I'm not sure I can't even remember right now god um, so it's the fourth fret second fret section. For the outro of the song, it's going back to the standard chord progression of D, A, A sharp minor. But it's also alternating that with the same chord progression, but instead ending the on an A instead of a G. There's also this like melody going on in the very end. I'm not I'm not really sure what's going on there. the entire line right there. So you can try maybe doing that with the chords, but that feels like it would be kind of difficult. should be that should be the entire song and it just ends on 